Landmines are a real issue for Israelis. There are more than a million of them unexploded along Israel's border areas, which are popular weekend getaway destinations. Our job was to get the government to take action. However, landmines don't affect daily life in cities and suburbs. We needed a way to grab attention and make the issue resonate with busy city folk. Our solution? Dog poop. Piles of it. Just as no one wants to step on a landmine, no one wants to step in dog poop either. There's even a Hebrew slang word, mochesh, which means both landmine and dog poop. We transformed one of Tel Aviv's main streets, Rothschild Avenue, into an urban minefield using piles of fake dog poop with little warning signs planted in them. We also planted signs in real dog poop too, in a worldwide media first. And our installation team included landmine victims to ensure people would immediately understand the severity of the issue. The campaign attracted immediate attention, generating tons of press coverage and social currency. People were taking photos and calling their friends about it, and our petition signing booth was overrun. At the same time, 11-year-old landmine victim Daniel Yuval spoke to media outlets to drive home the physical and emotional damage caused by landmines. This dual approach reached Israelis right across the country. The widespread media coverage generated nationwide public support and put pressure on the government to take action. The value of the media coverage was a massive 26 times the original investment and we secured support from more than 60% of all the members of parliament who mandated the $90 million needed to fund the clearing of the mines, which has now begun.